Running around at the speed of sound Got places to go hoping not to freeze to death Welcome back Trash Pack Today we're going to be playing Nebraska I found this randomly on Steam, sort of like pre-simulator I literally don't know what this is, but it was like three dollars, so I figured what the heck, it's spooky month This game is supposedly spooky so it only makes sense that we try it out, right? Anyways, let's uh, get right into this. Let us play. In 2020, for my journalism. I was for my journalism. Series of Nebraska, <laughs> a book I'm writing about the strange and undocumented parts of Midwest America. For my journalism. Driving around <laughs> rural Nebraska. <laughs> cold snow was freezing the interior of my car like the inside of a fridge i mean the cold snow will do that man I was keenly aware that my fuel meter had been sitting on e for the last couple of miles adding to the problem i hadn't seen any sign of civilization for hours yeah um that happens sometimes an inevitable stop <clears throat> in the unforgiving rural midwest i noticed something far in the distance it was some kind of building covered by the sea of snow and trees that surrounded it. Okay. In a desperate attempt for help and sheer curiosity. I got to say so far until I the voice the acting isn't stuff. too bad. This guy's okay. Had an entrance. Um wide, He's kind of just reading it in one voice. There's not much inflection, but he sounds fine. I've heard way worse voice acting. What the fuck is going on with that door? Squeak slowly open. I stepped in and cracked my glow stick to illuminate the darkness of the room. In between the midst of empty boxes and rotting wood, there was a sign above the unattended cashier stand which read, Welcome to the House of Horrors. What the hell? At this moment, it was clear. This oh, okay, this is like a spirit Halloween, gotcha. Abandoned. Unsure of oh, that's ironic. The spirit Halloween has been abandoned. Does that mean a different spirit Halloween will move in? I think that's what that means, right? Like, if a spirit Halloween uh, becomes desolate and abandoned, that means just a different spirit Halloween will move in and open up. There was a loud buzz. I think that is the rules. The sound of the door slamming behind me. I was trapped. Oh no, he's trapped in the spirit Halloween. How horrible. Thank you for coming to the attraction. We hope you enjoyed this automated experience. Um. Uh, okay. The door won't budge, no matter how hard I pull on it. Watch ha! Watch ham! Um, we got some spooky, scary skeletons. Gonna take this for protection. Come with me, Barrel. You're the only thing standing between me and certain doom. All right, what do we got here? A metal cage contained what looks to be the electrical wiring to the speakers mounted on the ceiling. I wonder why it would have been labeled with Russian characters in Midwest America. Oh no, it's the Soviets. Oh God. Not the Soviets. We're doomed. Because, you know... We need communism in the game if uh, we're going to have evil experiments. It's not like you could have just used the United States government who's on record of do as having done all kinds of fucked up experiments on human beings on its own citizens, no less, throughout uh, the fucking years. Like poisoning whole ass towns and shit for the fun of it. All right. Anyways, let's take our barrel and get going. Eh. Eh. I can't see. Oh. Oh, glow stick. Yeah, that'll... That'll light my way. Does this guy not have a flashlight? I'm a journalist exploring the Midwest of the United States to find rural abandoned fucking towns and shit for my journalism. I shouldn't take a flashlight with me. I'll never get abandoned out in bumfuck nowhere. What a dumbass. Like, honestly, you deserve this for being so ill-prepared. 
Because there's no reason that you shouldn't have fucking uh, brought a flashlight with you. Why did you? And you brought glow sticks, so it's like you thought about it. But then at some point you were like, hmm, should I get flashlights or should I get glow sticks? You know what? I'm going to get the glow stick. That'll probably be more useful. Keep an eye on your body temperature in the inventory. You can pass out and eventually die from hypothermia or heat stroke if you get too hot or too cold. Um, I'm not sure with how healthy I am. So I'm currently here. I don't know if that's a good temperature or not. Okay. Jesus. Some kind of collapsed Roman temple. Um, we got a wolf pelt. Ah! Um, he's got nothing to say about that. What about this? It looks like it's been quite a while since this clock last worked. There's some, like, dust or something. Little party calls. Um, what do we got over here? The power box appears to be switched on. This facility seems to be more intertwined than I previously believed. I want the big twist of this game to be that this is actually just a haunted house attraction. And that this guy's a fucking idiot. The crumpled newspaper reads, Government and politics. There's something not quite right about this attraction. It almost seems like a facade for something greater. Oh, wow, really? You don't say... Ooh. Oh, wow, there's a secret passageway. Who would have guessed? All right, let's keep on moving. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, no, I've fallen. Ah. Oh, no. Blah, 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 blah. From what height did I fall? It's clear now that this isn't any kind of attraction. To increase your health, find painkillers, and once they're picked up, they will automatically be used. Okay. Good thing somebody just left some fucking painkillers, uh, laying right there. Okay, boys. We got three directions. Left, forward, right. Oh, let's start left. I can't move it by hand. It's too strong. Oh, I don't have my, uh... I guess I don't have my, uh, crowbar anymore. I must have lost it in the fall. Left or right? Well, let's try left again. Oh, this seems horrible. Yeah, it's cold. I get it. All right. Running around at the speed of sound. Got places to go, hoping not to freeze to death. All right, where am I now? I back where I started. <sighs> Let it be known for the record that I fucking hate mazes. All right, we found something. What's my... All right, cool. I seem to be doing okay on body temperature at the moment. <clears throat> a large toolbox. The pieces of paper attached to the box have faded away from unknown causes, making them unreadable. Okay. Interesting. So far, so good. The music isn't terrible, too, by the way. Oh, is that a hammer? I'll take that. I probably need that to open the, uh, the fucking boarded up door in the other place. Nice, nice. What we got in here? Anything of value? Yeah. Take that. It looks like someone placed this floodlight here because the room light has been working properly. Okay. The tap turns on, but no water comes out. Most likely, whoever was here before me left for this reason. However, if that was true, why would the door be barricaded? Don't know, man. 
There's some health things like right here too. So I'm assuming there's gonna be like a monster behind this door. Can he move this? The door is barricaded shut. Okay, so it doesn't matter. I can't leave that way. Well, time to take my hammer and head back where I came from. Good thing I'm bad with directions and I'll probably get lost. What's my temperature? Yeah, we're doing okay. I think it was down this way though. Um, and then just keep heading straight, I think. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. Bam! Ooh, my frame rate just kind of ate shit there. Bam! No one can defeat my hammer! It's too powerful. Okay, so what we got over here? Anything useful? I mean, they gave me a hammer to get through here, so there's got to be something here. Uh, I'm not really seeing anything that's standing out, though. Um, there's a vent. There's this, but... Is there really nothing in here? That doesn't seem right. We got this grate. So maybe there's a way down? Oh, there's right here. The hatch is missing. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, that's a little silly, but whatever. All right. Oh, we're getting like a little uh, cutscene thing. Also, why is this guy like stupidly going further and further down? There's like a point where I would have just stopped. Oh, my frame rate just shit the bed again. It won't look as good <clears throat> now that I've messed with the settings a little bit, but that's fine. As long as the frame rate doesn't crap the bed, that's what I'm concerned about. And we're in a new area. If there's any kind of monster in this game, I think we're gonna find it pretty soon. What? What is that thing? Whatever it is, it seems to be giving off heat that I can feel through this window. Oh, he's talking about that weird thing. Whoa, okay. That door is a little busted. This thing looks similar to what I saw through the window, just smaller. What are these things? Uh, they look like chunky flesh rocks, kinda. Um, uh oh, I'm freezing now. I gotta get out of here. Oh no, everything's so spooky scare. The same cage contained electrical wiring I saw at the entrance. It's all starting to come together. This was never an attraction, just a unique facade for this secret facility. Or maybe you're still in the attraction and you're just stupid. Did you ever think about that? Did you- ooh, bathroom and horror game? Perfect. This can only go badly. So what's gonna be hiding in this bathroom locker room? Nothing, surprisingly. Man, have people started wising up to the bathroom thing and they just, like, use it as fake-outs now? So I feel like the last couple horror games I played had bathrooms with nothing in them. Maybe. It's possible, I guess. Um, not a lot of lore chunks like I was expecting. But, I mean, I guess this game doesn't need lore chunks because it's, uh, pretty freaking straightforward. Evil Russians do evil experiment on people. It's bad, spooky, scary. It's the same speaker from the entrance. This was a setup. Maybe they used to lure people in here to use them as guinea pigs. However, it seems like a long time since anybody has occupied this facility. Uh, yeah, um... Maybe that's because everyone's dead and there's a monster here. Subject, N4, base operation. 
Project Force Structure and Management Implications. Project will create a new race of efficient soldiers. Project will shift manpower and political strength to new generation of Soviets from the United States. Project will do X. Project will do Y. Project Resource Implication. Abandoned Sewer Tunnel Takeover in Nebraska, United States. Current funding sourced from OCO budget under 2809 authority. Project Timeline and or Milestones. Blueprint on file. Sewer to be refurbished into base, including scientists, test, and patient wards. Yes, we need a scientist and a test. And some patient wards. Base to be built beginning 2005 and completed 2009, pending government approval. Phase 1 set 2009, Phase 2 set 2011, Phase 3 set 2014. Project evaluation of alternatives. Not authorized. Base must remain in seclusion and secrecy to all effects. Project agreements and support. Undercover new generation Soviet federal agents to pose as United States citizens and collect test subjects. Russian scientists and medical personnel to be stationed at base to monitor procedures within the base. Okay, well if this is all taking place in like 2005, or well 2004 is when this note was written, um, first off, there isn't a Soviet Union at this point, so it would just be Russia. And second, again, let me reiterate that instead of doing evil Soviets, you could have just done corrupt United States government because we do and have done experimentations on human beings and on our own citizens before, so it's not like it would be shocking or even surprising. Why use a defunct former fucking uh, superpower that no longer exists as your evil spooky bad guy. It just feels kind of stupid and lazy to me. Like, at least if it had been set in the 80s or something, I could have been like, yeah, okay, well, there's the Soviets. But now the Soviets don't exist. It's just Russia. Um, And their country isn't even, like, a uh, communist country anymore. It's like a hyper-capitalist slash corporatist country now. I mean, obviously, they have uh, Putin, who's in charge, and he's kind of dictator so it's not, like, exactly a hyper-capitalist corporatist, but they are run by a series of, like, large uh, corporate entities, just uh, like in the United States, sort of. Um, but I'm getting off point. Uh, where was I in this? Project Agreements and Support. Undercover new generation Soviet federal agents to pose as United States citizens and collect test subjects, Russian scientists and medical personnel to be stationed at base to monitor procedures within the base. Project detail. Project will operate within three phases. Phase one to be limited to animalia and bacteria. Experiments will create a system of new dominant traits, characteristics, and genes. Phase two will be limited to Homo sapiens. Phase two will practice psychology, methodology, and psychotropic medicine. Specific focus to usage of lysergic acid dithalamide, blah, 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 blah. This work will alter Homo sapiens cere- cerebrums and target frontal and paradial lobes. Phase 3 work is to be predominantly physical. Work will include research and development from Phase 1. Phase 3 will take full control of Homo sapiens, psycholo- Homo sapiens psychologically through use of neurochip. Phase 3 will take full control of Homo sapien physically through mutations pending Phase 1 research. Physical force will include removal of the oculus uteric eyes through all phases. Why would you remove their eyes? Throughout all phases, scientists live in designated wards and practice independent studies until successful completion. Okay, so evil Soviets take people's eyes and brainwash them into super soldiers, but they remove their eyes so they're less effective super soldiers. Nothing makes sense, whatever. Well, I think that's going to wrap it up for this episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'll probably play at least one more episode worth of this, and then we'll kind of gauge how it's doing and whether or not it's worth it to continue onward. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.